welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 drugstore products that were either hits or misses for me. And just because they didn't work out for me does not mean that they will not work out for you. And this is in no way a bashing or dissing video. So please don't take it that way. Um, I try, I'm kind of new, new to buying more of the drugstore look, drugstore products because I'm trying to create a broad spectrum on my channel so that way um, you'll have high-end looks as well as drugstore looks to make it affordable for everybody watching so let's get into it um first off this is probably my absolute favorite drugstore purchase and i'm so 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 happy that i bought these these are the moda prismatic facial brushes and they are amazing. Um, I have used them every single day since I have bought them. They do not leave any streakiness on of your makeup. They're very soft. Um, and from the reviews that I've read, these actually are dupes for the Artiste brushes. Now I have never tried the Artiste brushes. I want to, but you know they're two hundred dollars. So if you don't want to go and spend two hundred dollars on these Moda Facial Prism brushes. Yes, absolutely amazing. And as always, everything that I have talked about, I will link below. Um, so these have like a really good give. So if you have a heavy hand, then I would definitely check these out. A plus plus, one hundred percent. I think I paid fifteen dollars for the set of four. So I mean, you can't beat that. Hello. All right. Um. So my next product is the Earth Therapy. These are under eye masks under eye patches, excuse me. They have two kinds, they have a cucumber kind, and then this is the collagen hydrogel under eye patch. It's supposed to diminish fine lines and wrinkles, as well as dark circles, diminish the appearance of that. And it does just that. So I would definitely buy these. These are a hit in my book. Okay, um, the second product actually did not work out for me. It is the Wet n Wild, um, the translucent setting powder. I'm um, sorry, mattifying powder. Um, I could not pick this up on my brush at all. I mean, it's, yeah. So that's why there's a big dent in it because I couldn't get the product on my brush. I like to use brushes. It came with this little pad, which I never, used. I never even opened it, but um, I guess I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting out of it, but it didn't do, I just couldn't pick it up on my brush, so I don't know if it mattifies anything because I couldn't pick it up. I think it was like $3.99, so I really wasn't too upset about it, but I didn't like it. Um, the next thing is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. And this is shade light. I do recommend this. Actually, I'm wearing it right now. Um, it does have a lot of sunscreen in it. It's SPF 30, so it kind of puts a. It doesn't leave a little sheen on your skin. So if you don't like that, then you can always go in with a setting spray, a setting powder, or anything like that. Um, but I really love this stuff. I wear it on days, and I'm just like running to the grocery store, running errands. So this Revlon BB Photo Ready Cream is a hit for me. Okay, uh, the next thing, another found, well, that's not a foundation, it's a BB cream, but <laughs> foundation-wise, um, I have picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, I think my shade is um, Nude Ivory, and I was able to find out my foundation shade by using the Foundation Matrix, which I will link below as well. And um, for this, my skin is really, really dry. So the first time that I tried it, it was a mess. It picked up on every single dry patch that I had on my skin. But luckily, um, I used my Tarte Mary Jacua oil drops, just one or two drops of this, mixed in with this, and it was a dream. These are the dream team for me. So this Photo Focus Foundation is a hit for me. And I will link the Tarte Mary Jacua oil drops in the bottom as well. Um, this size is my travel size. I've had it for a couple months. And as you can see, it's like down to here. So um, 
Uh, this is $16, and the larger bottle I haven't even opened yet. It's $53 or $58. I cannot recall the exact price, but I love that stuff. It's not drugstore, though. Obviously, <laughs> it's my tart. Um, let's see. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the um, Wet n Wild All Day Wear. This is the, the Photo Focus line, just like the foundation. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I find myself reaching for this every single day because it sets like a dream. I love my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but this I use all the time. I think I have like five bottles because I literally bought all of them in the row when I went to the drugstore. So um, this stuff is so good. So this is definitely a hit. I love it so much. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And um, I don't know, I think I, I picked up the lightest shade maybe. It just says 01 on the bottom. I think it's light. But um, it actually is oil-free, but it does not make my, um, the line, the fine lines, it doesn't accentuate them, I guess. Um, it doesn't settle into them. I do bake with this, too. So, even with baking, it doesn't settle into my lines. So, I definitely recommend the Super Stay Better Skin by Maybelline Concealer. Okay, the next product I'm going to talk about actually did not work for me. And this is Maybelline's Master Contour. Uh, um, I just, I don't know, I guess shade light. But, I tried to make this work. I really did. Um... It comes with a darker contour shade and then a lighter highlighter shade on either side of it. See, but to me, when I put it on, it took my makeup off. And I don't know if I, I, I go in with a light hand every time that I, you know, kind of mix anything. So I don't know. It just, to me, was a, a little bit oily and it did take all of my makeup off when I tried to blend it in so this is a hit i mean a miss a miss for me um the master contour by maybelline if you guys have any suggestions on something that kind of helps it work better let me know below um but let's talk about something that did work <laughs> the nyx wonder stick and this is a the same thing it is a contour contour highlight stick as well and on one side, you have your contour color, and the other side, you have your highlighter. And I really like the highlighter because it is a little, it has a little sheen to it. Not sure if you guys can even see it or not, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. These do not take my makeup off. They actually seem to kind of blend out to more of like a powder. So I got the light the light color but this NYX Wonder Stick Concealer Highlighter Duo is a hit for me. I love it. Um, the next one is, I'm on the fence about it. I'm trying to make it work. But it's the NYX HD Studio. It's um, a translucent powder. As you guys can see there. Um, I... I'm trying to make it work. I really am, but I tried to bake with it. It's hard to bake with. I have to. I actually I feel like inhale more of the product than I get on my face. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I try to make it work, but I'm still trying to make this work. So this is kind of like on the fence of hit or miss. It's kind of like teetering there. So. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will do a hit or miss on my high-end products as well. But yeah, so far um, I only had two misses out of the ten. So I think that's pretty good. Um, so anyways, if you guys like this video and you want to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comment box below. And as always, like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload my next video. And